But on further math, here's another question which is given that n is equal to 3i minus 2j, n equal to 2i plus 3j, and minus i plus 6j is what p. So this is what 2 by 2 matrices, you can see 2, they give us i and j. So there are 3 by 3 matrices as well, there will be 3 what i, j, and k. But let's quickly do this, we have to calculate this. 5, 4m plus 2m minus what? 3p. The first thing is what? Solution. 5 individual what? Components. First, 4m will be equal to 4 into bracket 3i minus 2 what? J. So, so 4 is equal to, so this one will 4 times 3 is equal to 12i minus what? 8j. 4 times 3i is equal to 12. 4 times 2 minus 8j. So tell us that we have 2a equal to 2 into bracket 2i plus 3j. So 2a equals 2i plus 3j, which is equal to 2 times this will be 4i. 4, 4 times 3 will be what? Plus 6j. 4i plus 6j. So now we have that. So the next one is what? 3p. But before that, let's add it together. Let's add this together so as to really balance it up. So now add this first together because plus come before minus. So 4l plus 2a first. We have what? We add this sum of this one 2 plus 4i. Add them together. Then plus open bracket minus. 8 plus what 6j. I follow it minus 8 plus what 6j. So we have what 16i plus its bracket minus 6 is plus 6 to be minus 2j. Minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. So everything here will be what 16i minus times 4 will give what minus 2j. So that's that about that one. So we now come to 3p. 3p, which is 3 into bracket, 3p, which is 3 into bracket minus i plus 6j minus i plus 6j, which is equal to minus 3i plus 18 plus 18 3 times plus 18j. So finally, we have 4m for the 2a minus 3p will now be equal to we have 3i minus 3i plus 8j for this p then we have this one for this addition of these two we now say okay 16 for this one minus this one now we have 16i minus 2j into bracket minus open bracket now if you are minusing this you are taking away this from from this so minus my you have to put this minus and put in bracket 3 i plus 18j. Why am I putting the bracket? It's because of this minus. It's going to affect this, so you have to be careful with it. We have 16, 16 minus 16i minus minus this is 16 plus 3i. Then we have minus 3i plus minus 2j. Then we have plus minus 2j plus minus 2j minus plus 18. It will be minus minus 18j. Why? Because minus times plus will be minus. So we now have what? 4n plus 2n plus 2n minus 3p. It will be what? 16 plus 3 will be 19i. 19i plus what? Plus minus 20j minus 20 minus 20 then it's going to be what 19i minus 20 what j so now absolute now so now find the absolute now absolute 4n plus 2n minus 3p which is same as the magnitude the magnitude of a given vector will give you as this one i squared plus j squared since it is 2 by 2 so we are going to have what 19 all squared square root of 19 all squared plus square root of 20 all minus 20 
So whatever it gives you, I'm quickly calculate it. 19 times 19 will be what? 19 times 19 will be. So you can do that. Mathematically, can this is what? 18. And then this is going to be what? what? 9 times 1 is going to give you what? 9 plus 8 is going to give you 1. Seven, 17, right? So, 17. So, this one will be 9, 1, yeah? 1, 6. Then, 361. To give you 361, I'm correct. Give you 61 plus 400. So, Whatever the square root of this gives you 761. Because I'm not a calculator now. 761. So 761 will give you around 27 point something. 27 point something. So you can do your calculation. And that's that. 27 point something. So we have come to the end of the class. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do it for subscribe. And you will share that in that scale of update on this channel. Thank you and God bless.